What up, everybody? This is Jack Slater, a.k.a. The Comic Outlaw. Yeah! And I'm back, and I hope you're ready, because we're doing the Joe Fix-It Saga. At last, at last, at long last. He's here. It only took several parts to happen, but let's see as we get into a 331. And basic sum up, an accident happened. Rick Jones became the Hulk. Bruce Banner became this gray hawk that he has quote unquote under control. And uh, they're all working for S.H.I.E.L.D. And this is a very volatile situation. You have all these scientists, military, S.H.I.E.L.D. And two hawks there. So you know something's about to pop off. This is of course that is Thunderbolt Ross had sacrificed himself in order to kill this brain creature that was taking over everyone's body. Dr. Samson is waking up. And uh, they're taking Thaddeus' body away. And Betty's kind of distraught. At this point, she's lost her father, and now Rick kind of smashed his way in, so they're hunting the Hulk, and they're they're basically having a meeting of minds trying to figure out what they're going to do. They want to break out the Hulkbusters. They want to start destroying the Hulk, and of course, some people don't want to do this. Of course, you got you to gotta see it from their point of view. Hulk has smashed and destroyed all kinds of different stuff, and uh, this is their chance to get rid of him once and for all, and you notice that scientist actually did take that body, so of that creature so we're going to see where that happens anyways they're at this funeral home they call this funeral home so they can quickly dispose of the bodily body get rid you know get some locals together and uh, one of the people working there is stern sam stern and you're going to know him as the leader and somehow he became human we'll get into that right now anyways these are the hulkbusters or a variation of them basically super ships like the hulkbusters have evolved so much over the years They've been ships, they've been robots, they've been suits of armor, you know, this, that, and the other. And uh, Bruce is toying with the notion of ejecting himself with Gamma in order to become the Grey Hulk, in order to stop Rick. And Betty's telling him, you know, why do you want to do this? You just cured yourself. I just lost my father. I don't want to lose my husband. Something's wrong with you. There's some kind of change going on. And little does Betty know that her suspicions is right as the Hulkbusters come in looking for Rick Jones. Now, at this time, they do not know that Rick Jones is the Hulk. This is a secret that's been maintained by Banner, Betty, and uh, Rick just comes in smashing everything. Rick has pseudo control over the Hulk. I mean, it's kind of like fog for him. Anyways, he starts attacking the ships. And these guys are outmatched. I do not even know why they sent ships in the first place. But they have all the bells and whistles, all the big guns. And uh, this girl actually has a pretty good idea to fly up and try to drop the Hulk. And this is where Bruce kind of lets the cat out of the bag and reveals that Rick is the Hulk. And of course, this changes everything. Rick Jones has been a member of this, that, and the other. And uh, this is a brilliant idea right here. Just to get him off, the pilot turns the ship upside down and smashes this Hulk into a mountain. And I, I got to admit, great attempt. But this is the Hulk we're talking about. It's going to take a lot more than that to destroy him. And they're firing laser beam after laser beam. And Hulk's fighting back. And Bruce is feeling bad because he spilled the beans. Of course, they're taking Thaddeus' body out of here. He kind of doesn't know what to think about that. I mean... This man is his father-in-law, but he's been his worst enemy for years and years and years, so mixed emotions. Anyways, Betty's telling him not to go off, not to be Hulk. And uh, Sam Stern is looking over the body, thinking, trying to figure out a way to become the leader again. Of course, his quote-unquote boss tells him to load the body before they start turning green or something, because this is a gamma plant, gamma base, you know, whatever you want to call it. They're loading Thaddeus' body in. And uh, Banner takes off. Stern decides to follow him. He grabs a wrench, beats the hell out of his boss, and starts to follow Banner into the night. And uh, this is where Banner has a little secret. But uh, he's not the only one that has a secret. This man is looking for Betty. And apparently this man is her husband. Yes, you heard me right. Apparently she married Rico Suave. Anyways, uh, Rick's not having a good time as they keep blasting him and blasting him. And I love how he just jumps up, grabs one of the guys by the legs, and now he's panicking. This guy was all blustered before about destroying the Hulk. But now that the Hulk's put hands on him, 
Oh, he's changing his mind quick. Anyways, he's calling for help, and uh, they fire some armor-piercing rounds. And this is the interesting thing about this Hulk. He's bleeding. Like I said before, he's not as strong as the Savage Hulk, Bruce Banner's Green Hulk. They fire an electric net on him, but it's going to take more than that. I mean, after all, he's still gamma-powered. And uh, he picks the net up and just throws it right back at the ship. So this, of course, starts shortening everything out. The ship starts uh, rocking back and forth, as you could probably tell, since the engines are going out and the laws of gravity. And uh, Rick, like I said, has somewhat control of his senses, but not really. He picks up the ship, throws it. Of course, the pilot parachutes out in time. And the hunt for the Green Hulk continues. But they decide to switch strategies. And this is a brilliant idea, I must admit. Once they found out who he is, they decide why hunt the Hulk when we could kill the man. Now, Rick's been a good friend of a lot of different people in the superhero community. You know, he's been a member of this team and that team, but this is serious. They have to stop the Hulk. And they figure the best way to get Hulk is to get him in his human form. Now, Banner is getting ready in this machine. And he's going to infect himself with gamma rays, becoming the Grey Hulk again. And this is where he realizes he steps in the machine that he was tricked. Yes, Joe Fixit is here. And he managed to trick him. He was reaching out through his personality. And uh, he smashes the machine to bits because he does not want Banner to come back. Of course, this is where, uh, I'm just going to call him the leader. He just spills the beans saying that he will suffer from the same curse, Banner in the daytime, Hulk in the nighttime, just like the way Rick is. And uh, of course, he wanted to become the leader again. And this is where you see Joe Fixit's anti-hero side. Him and the leader are going to make a deal because he wants Banner gone and he wants to become himself again. So they form an alliance. But how is this alliance going to turn out? Well, I guess we'll find out the next time, won't we? And I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.